I'm Rick Buck and I've been a dentist for 15 years. In this video, I will cover the Philips Power Flosser 5000 and show you how well it removes my plaque when I stain it pink, all along telling you what I like and don't like about the Power Flosser. So subscribe if you have teeth and you want to keep them. So first I'm going to stain my plaque pink and then I use a toothbrush that I know will leave a moderate level of plaque between my teeth. Now I turn my head so you can see better how much plaque is between my teeth. Once again, the plaque between my teeth is what we're trying to remove with floss or a power flosser. And so we want this to be as efficient as floss. Hopefully. So then I start the power flosser. Now I have this water flosser cranked up to its highest setting, which for most water flossers is 100 PSI. But I'm skeptical if this is that high because they do not list their PSI on their website or in the product description, at least at the time of filming this. Anyway, the first thing you will notice is water flossers in general are pretty messy. Now it is just water, but they do tend to get water all over the sink and mirror. The good thing about the power flosser is that it sprays in four directions, which sets it apart from some of the other water flossers out there, which is good and a bad thing. And I'll show you why. It's good because it covers a wider area of plaque removal on the teeth. However, in my opinion, it likely won't remove much plaque deeper between the teeth because there isn't a stream focused on going deep between the teeth, which is not good in my opinion, because once again, we're trying to remove the plaque deep between the teeth, but we will see. Another good thing over other water flossers about this power flosser is that on the models with a cord, the basin that holds the water is actually quite large. Most other water flossers aren't. And the reason why you want a lot of water is because the more water, the longer it goes to clean out the teeth. In fact, this one went on for quite a while, much longer than any of the other water flossers that I've used. I attribute that to the bigger basin, but it also possibly is because the water pressure is lower. I don't know that for a fact, but Philips can clear up that by listing the pressure and posting it on their product page. Now this one has the cord, but the cordless models with the basin attached to the actual handpiece seem to be too small. I haven't tested them out for this specific model, but I've tested them out for other water flossers and the basin did not seem to be big enough to hold enough water to spray all my teeth clean. Another concern about these water flossers is water pooling up in your mouth. For making this video, I had to stand upright when doing the water flosser, but you would actually need to be facing down the whole time to have water constantly falling out of your mouth, likely into the sink. Because the water pooling, like it would here, makes this less efficient, especially when you're spraying off the lower teeth because that water is gonna hit turbulence when it hits the pool of water. Now, after I use the water flosser and look at the results, they are pretty good at first glance. I see a little bit of pink in the upper left lateral incisor and the lower left canine, but it seems better at least than when we first used the water flosser. And as I turn my head, we can see some of the deeper plaque and I see a faint plaque on the lower left right first molar and the lower left second premolar as well. And then looking further as well, I can see some between the upper lateral incisor and the canine and central incisor. The pink and thus the plaque is more faint, but it is definitely still there. And as I turn my head to the left, I can see a haze of pink on the lower molars, the canine and upper central incisor. So it is leaving a faint level of pink plaque left behind. And just so you're aware, I've tested out tons and tons of flosses and I've eventually created my own floss as well. Anyway, this shows that even though the results look okay, there is still a lot of plaque it is not getting deep between the teeth that even the poor floss can get. And you can see that by some pink on the floss as I'm snapping it through my teeth. And between some teeth, it won't get any, and that might be because this is a poor floss, but then other teeth it will. So it is missing some plaque deep between the teeth. So here's what I have to say. The power water flosser does in fact remove some plaque. Here is where I insert a question for you though. Does it remove more than flossing with regular floss? I recommend you watch my video on the best daily brushing and flossing routine 
and you will see how clean you can get your teeth from plaque. There you will see how much plaque my favorite floss will remove too. And frankly, that floss is my favorite dental product in general, and I will put an affiliate link to it below this video along with my favorite brush. Now this is all important to see and know because this flies in the face of some of the studies out there that these water flosser companies will publish right on their web pages to sell you on the water pick and the water flosser. And that is that the water pick is 180% more effective than regular floss. Now, I don't know where they get that number. I wasn't there at the time of the studies, but I know what I see on my teeth and it does not seem to be that effective to me at all. I know there are studies that say otherwise, but I have serious doubts about those. So here's my synopsis about water flossers and this power flosser. They just don't seem to remove the more tenacious plaque very well. And this is one of two big problems with water flossers. They remove loose plaque well, but the more tenacious plaque, actual floss removes way better, especially my favorite floss that I developed. The second thing is they're just too messy. My wife doesn't like it and neither do I. Now, one thing I will say for this water flosser is if I were going to use a water flosser, I would likely use this one. But either way, you still have to floss. And if you still have to floss, then why use a water flosser at all? In my first general water flosser video, you will see how easy good floss will get these spots. And that isn't even the floss that I developed that's my favorite. It just easily removes all this plaque that's left behind by water flossers. So for now, there is no substitute for good regular flossing. Watch my daily dental care video I have posted now for the best technique, tips and product recommendations for a stunningly clean mouth that avoids tooth decay, gum disease, and gives you fresh breath. The best dental products that I recommend are in Amazon affiliate links in the description below, or you can order them from the store below if you are on a handheld device. And then you don't even have to leave YouTube to order those. If in Southern California, my dental office is in the description as well. Like and subscribe to my channel if you have teeth.